Today we're making individual strawberry trifle for two. It is made with a layer of pound cake, vanilla custard, fresh strawberries, and topped with whipped cream. It's easy, it's delicious, it's sweet, and you are going to love it. Now, traditionally, trifle is made in a large bowl and feeds eight to 10 people, but today's reduced size small batch version is the perfect amount for two. Join me in the kitchen as we make small batch recipes with big taste. Hi, I'm Leanne and welcome to my kitchen. Now, today's a recipe for individual strawberry trifle is comes from England. It's a traditional English dessert and it's usually served in a big glass bowl um, so that you can see all the pretty layers in it. Well, today's version, that, that's a lot of trifle, eight to 10 people. So today's reduced size version is a perfect amount for two. So today's recipe is part of my Valentine's Day dessert recipe series. So if you've missed any of them, make sure that you check out those recipes up there. So for today's trifle recipe, you're going to use some pound cake. And we're going to use this pound cake that I shared with you and my recipe for individual um, size pound cake. You could also, if you've got some frozen pound cake on hand or some angel food cake, some type of cake like that will work just great. We're also going to need some pudding. Now this is the um, vanilla pudding for two recipe that I shared with you right up there. You can use that. You could actually even, if you want, use the stuff that comes out of the box. But you need a vanilla pudding or custard. And then you're going to need some berries. Today we're using strawberries. You could use blueberries. You could use raspberries, blackberries. Um, whatever you, you can get a hold of or have on hand. Now, what we need to do with these strawberries is that we need to do what is called macerating, um, which means that we are going to draw the juices out of the strawberry, which is gonna form a syrup, which we're gonna put on top of the pound cake and then it then is going to soak into the pound cake. Now, some people make their um, pound cake with a liquor, which they pour over the pound cake to soak into it. But today we're gonna use those juices, those delicious juices from the strawberries. The other thing you're gonna need is some type of clear glass bowl, cup, or dish, because we wanna be able to see all those pretty layers of the trifle. You wanna use something that is clear. So our first step then is to macerate our strawberries. Now, um, I'm gonna take about, a lot of it's going to depend on how big of a container uh, you are using. I'm probably going to get one layer of each thing in this, so I need about a quarter cup of strawberries per container. Now, if I was using a taller container and was going to get like two layers of everything in it, I would need more strawberries. But since I'm using this fairly small one, I am going to slice up about a half of a cup of strawberries, so I've got a quarter cup for each trifle. And I just want to slice them. I like to slice them fairly thin. And then we're going to take them, pop them into a bowl. Now, again, the amount of sugar you add in is going to depend on how sweet your strawberries already are. These are middle of the winter strawberries, so they're not very sweet. So I'm going to probably use about two tablespoons of sugar to this half a cup of berries. If I was using a full cup of berries, I'd probably use three to four tablespoons. Well, let me go grab some sugar. All right, we got our sugar. And so, like I said, I'm just going to take about probably... Maybe I'll use a tablespoon and a half. That looks like a lot. And then we just want to mix it together. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cover it with some plastic wrap. We are going to put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for anywhere from 30 minutes to overnight because that sugar is going to now start pulling those juices out and a nice yummy sweet syrup is going to form. All right, our strawberries have macerated and we are ready to put together our um, trifle. We've got our dishes and you can see that I've got quite a bit of juice down here in the um, bottom. Now, one thing, if your strawberries aren't producing enough juice for you, just add in some more sugar and that's gonna get those uh, juices going. So I think these are just perfect and ready. We've got our pound cake that we made from our individual pound cake recipe and our vanilla pudding. And then we're gonna put a little whipped cream on top. If you've got some freshly whipped cream, even better today, we're using canned whipped cream. So, got my two little uh, dishes. We are going to first start with our pound cake. And I've just taken a nice thick piece of pound cake, something that will fit down in the bottom of your container, whatever you're using, kind of push it down in there. And then we're gonna take our strawberries and make sure you're getting that juice too. And I'm only gonna be getting, because my dishes are a little shorter, a little smaller, I'm only probably gonna get one layer of everything. So I'm gonna use all of these strawberries and juice over the top. 
All right. Then we're going to take our pudding, put those down in there. I'm going to get that cake pushed down in there. There you go. And then we'll add a layer of our pudding. You can put as much pudding on as you would like. Kind of being a little messy here. All right. And then on the other one. Now, one thing I love about this dessert is you can make all the components ahead of time, um, but you can also assemble this. At a, at a time, as I mentioned, it can sit for up to 24 hours and the longer it sits, the more those flavors all marry together in there and are delicious. So we're gonna take our whipped cream, add a little bit of that on top. Then we're gonna take, I'm just gonna decorate it with a sliced strawberry. And there we've got our individual strawberry trifle. Perfect for Valentine's Day for any occasion. So thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. Make sure you check out my other videos down below, especially my small batch desserts, and we'll see you in the next video.